Uh, today we're discussing our abstract on the use of computer-assisted propofol sedation uh, in uh, GI endoscopy. CAPS was, um, there's a, one system that has been FDA approved to administer CAPS, which is called, it's trademarked under, in, uh, or marketed under the brand name Sedasis. Um, and it's essentially a robot. Um, and it, what it does is it assists in the administration of sedation uh, during an endoscopic procedure. The way that it works is the drug that it uses is called propofol, is named propofol, um, and the, the, the machine itself monitors a number of different parameters, blood pressure, capnography, respiration, heart rate, there's also um, another component which is patient responsiveness. So the patient actually has a um, uh, response unit and it, uh, they have an earpiece. And so the response unit vibrates and the earpiece tells them, you know, squeeze the handset and they have to squeeze it in and release it. But the, the computer essentially, or the machine knows that if they're not squeezing the handset, it assumes that they're not responsive. So that's the other component that it helps to monitor. So this has really recently been reintroduced, or introduced, not reintroduced, but introduced into clinical practice. And so our goal was to evaluate the widespread, the, or the, the, the use of this device in a high volume, busy clinical practice. And so we wanted to, you know, a lot of things work well in a controlled setting or in a controlled trial, but when you put them out there into practice, they perform differently. And we really wanted to understand the performance characteristics and how this performs in an everyday, busy clinical practice. We find, find a lot of things. <laughs> um, uh, first and foremost, the system does perform quite well. Um, we found that it is a very safe system, uh, that the number of adverse events that are associated with it in terms of um, uh, respiratory depression and issues with breathing um, are actually quite low. Um, uh, we also found that the clinicians uniformly um, felt that it was better than the comparison, which is the standard sedation with midazolam and fentanyl. Uh, so the physicians really felt on a number of different parameters that it was um, superior. Interestingly, the patients felt that it was better in terms of recall, and so their ability to recall the information that we give to them after the procedure um, uh, they're, they're, they perceived their ability to recall that information was better over the comparison. They felt that their level of pain during the procedure was rated as better versus the comparison. But overall, patient satisfaction was no different with the um, uh, computer-assisted propofol sedation than with standard sedation alone. So it, it seems that in summary, the docs really liked it. There were parts of it that the patients felt were better than the, than the comparison, um, but overall patient satisfaction was the same between the two.